Back out of this trout, back it goes, it is caught! Oh, Hello, it's Greg again. Fantastic. We're doing a glove review today. Uh, two Rawlings gloves. These aren't customs. One is the Bryce Harper from, I want to say, it was like 2019 model, and then Mike Trout. So, first, um, the difference between customs that I've noticed and game models or 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 uh, non-custom kind of in-store gloves is they tend to be a little more broken in when you get them. You don't have to do as much to them when you get them to be game ready. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods. So there's probably a hundred people have held this glove before I did. And every single one of them, you know, puts it on, squeezes it, folds the fingers, pounds it a little. So it gets a little pre-break in before you get it. You know, so these are a little softer getting them than my Rawlings Customs. Um, I will say that this glove, the Mike Trout, is, it's really hard to pick a favorite of all these gloves, but something about this glove, there, it feels like a vacuum cleaner. I don't know, like the ball just sits in it perfect. It's got like a perfect pocket. It's kind of firm around the fingers, almost like there's a, like a, there's like a bowl in there or something that it just wraps around the, the ball. I really like this glove. Um, this might be my favorite glove. Uh, definitely my favorite of the non-customs. I like this more than the Under Armour. I like this more than the Easton Kevin Pillar game uh, version. I like this more than the Mizuno. Um, I like this way more than the A2K that I got, the non-custom one. Um, this glove is awesome. It's, it looks like it would be super heavy. It's not that heavy. It's only a 12.75, so for softball, it's like, it, it's big enough for sure, but it's right there. Like, I wish I could have this in a 13, um, but that's my only complaint. It was like 260, because it's not custom, it's less expensive, you know, and I mean, there's probably a reason why Mike Trout has used this thing for so long, hit every freaking game that he's ever played. So, uh, you know that, that the, the actual style itself means something. Uh, one thing that it doesn't come with that I bought, I bought some black Rawlings uh, lace, some extra lace, and I wrapped up the, the ends. Let's see if there's a little focus. Yeah, I wrapped up the ends because they were just kind of loose and hanging, and this gives it a little more support at the top. Um, but other than that, that's the only thing I did to this game, or to this glove. It, uh, it is solid. I really like it. Which I'm sure you get now. This is the Bryce Harper one. Um, this one I recently actually got to use. I try and get through my customs and then get to the other ones first. But I'm about, about to break in a Heart of the Hyde custom, and the Bryce Harper game edition is a Heart of the Hyde. So I figured I'll do this one first and then I'll do the custom. Um, really solid glove. I liked it. You know, good pop, like when the ball hits it. Sometimes you get gloves that feel kind of dead when, like, a ball hit it and you're expecting that solid, like, pop. Um, and you just don't get it because maybe it comes in and hits the fingers or whatever. But solid glove. I mean, this is just, the, other than the color scheme and the fact that it's got a BH on the inside and you know it's the Bryce Harper like game edition, it, this is just a glove. Like, there's nothing flashy or special about it. But on a in like a utilitarian mindset, like this does the job. You know, these laces seem like they're gonna last. They're a little hard. I don't know about that. But yeah, it's a solid glove. I don't know that I would make a custom, like the Mike Trout one, like I said, I'm kind of getting into to all black gloves. The Mike Trout one, I'm not a huge fan of trapeze. This is the only trapeze glove that I own, but I would build this glove, like custom. 
I don't know if I'd build this glove. It's, you know, it's just kind of a glove. There's a weird, like, the pinky holder down here. It's got, it's, it's like folded over. And then the internal laces here on the inside where they wrap around, there's just enough gap that when you close your hands, sometimes you're, like, the, the, the padding on your finger gets caught in between the thumb holder and the lace and it pinches it just a little so I mean you can get blisters on there um, or maybe it's just annoying as hell I don't know he might he might wear I'm not sure if he does he might wear a glove in game so he doesn't notice that um, that's the only thing really I notice uh, Rawlings thumbs tend to be tighter this is not that this thumb is is loose and I like that it you you get some room in there for air to get in there this has like it's like a I don't even know how to describe it it's 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 not tight in terms of like constricting it's tight like a wetsuit so your thumb gets in there but there's no room for air or moisture to leave it's just you know like there's a balloon you know covering your thumb so you tend to sweat a lot, um, and if it's a human night, you get, like, I, I was playing a week ago or so, two weeks ago with this, and I could start feeling kind of maybe blisters starting to form just because it's so tight and there's so much moisture in there, it's just rubbing. Um, but it's a good glove. I don't really have any big downsides other than that. I, I probably wouldn't buy it again um, now that I know, but I don't regret buying it, you know? So, and then this, like I said, probably my favorite color. So, at least non-custom favorite, for sure. Um, that's all I got for Rawlings, uh, like in-game gloves, Mike Trout, Bryce Harper. Cool. Take it easy.